Welcome to this short overview of some of the more commonly used terms in survival analysis. Uh, before we begin, please do note that many of these terms and definitions vary depending on the site that is being discussed and as such um, are defined um, in different ways in the academic literature. Let's start off with a definition of overall survival. Overall survival is defined as the time uh, from diagnosis or treatment until death from any cause. And death in this case is, can be both related and unrelated to the cancer uh, in question. The overall survival rate is often stated as a five-year survival rate, which is the percentage of people in a study or treatment group who are alive five years, either after diagnosis or treatment. Next, we will define median survival. Median survival is defined as the time from either diagnosis or treatment to when half of patients are or are expected to be alive. Median survival is a measure of how long individuals will live uh, with a certain disease or treatment and the chance of living beyond the time denoted by the median survival is 50 percent and this term is often used as a measure of treatment effectiveness next is disease free survival Disease-free survival is defined as the time from diagnosis until the time of first recurrence, which can be either local, regional, or systemic. The event in disease-free survival is often defined as recurrence, and disease-free survival is an indication of the treatment effectiveness. Four is event-free survival. And event-free survival is defined as the time from diagnosis until one of several events. And these events include either local, regional, or systemic recurrence. Number two, second malignancy. Or three, death from any cause. Next is progression-free survival. Progression-free survival is the length of time during and after treatment in which a patient is living with a disease that does not get worse. An event in progression-free survival is defined as disease progression or relapse or death related to the disease. The definition of progression-free survival is very similar to event-free survival except that late deaths not related to the cancer or its treatment are excluded from the measure. Uh, Progression-free survival is an indication of the effectiveness of treatment and is often used in evaluating treatment in advanced disease. Next is disease specific survival. DSS, or also known as cause-specific survival, CSS, disease-specific survival is defined as the time from diagnosis or the start of treatment until death due to the cancer. In disease-specific survival, all other causes of death are typically censored. In other words, this definition excludes death attributable to causes unrelated to the cancer. And relapse free survival. 
is defined as the length of time following a specific point in treatment in which there is no clinically defined relapse. And an event is typically defined as any recurrence. And relapse-free survival most often does not include a death. That is, deaths are censored from the definition. Next is freedom from progression. FFP and freedom from progression is typically defined from the start of treatment until treatment failure. In freedom from progression, very broadly, an event is defined as the last time at which uh, response criteria are met. And freedom from progression typically does not include death as an event. And lastly, systemic disease-free survival is defined as the time from diagnosis until the date of first systemic recurrence. In systemic disease-free survival, an event is typically defined in one of several ways. Number one, systemic recurrence outside the local regional area at any time before or after local regional relapse. Number two, systemic recurrence with or without local regional relapse. Or number three, death from the cancer with no information on systemic recurrence. In systemic disease-free survival, all other causes of death are typically censored. That concludes this short video on definitions of some of the more commonly used survival terminology. Please feel free to send us any comments or questions that you may have. Thank you for your time.